is Jennifer Smith with Formula Fun, and here I am today to share some tips and tricks on how to use my Flippable Template Pack. When you download my Flippable Template Pack for personal use, you will receive a zipped file. Once you click on and extract that file, you will receive an unzipped file that is filled with five different items. In the zipped file, you have a copy of my logo, as well as the PDF of all Flippable Template Packs a copy of the directions in a PNG form or JPEG form, a copy of the editable version in PowerPoint form, and a picture of the cover. The reason that I provide the picture of my logo as well as the picture of the cover is if you decide to blog about it, post it on Facebook, or if you decide to eventually purchase a commercial single-use flippable template, I ask for you to use my logo as a way of giving credit back to me. The directions are pretty simple. Each of the flippables in the Mega Pack have the same instructions. Copy the flippable, cut along the dashed lines, fold the solid line, fill with notes, examples, rules, vocabulary, etc. The sky's the limit. And you will see that my flippable template pack is now filled with 52 templates, with more on the way. The PDF that is a part of this file is simply a copy of each of my flippable template packs, as well as my commercial my personal use copyright, this is the commercial use one, the flippable template directions, and several of my flippable templates have pictures of examples that I have done in my classroom with these flippable templates. This flippable template here is a four flap shutter fold with the center cut out. It looks like this. There is also a miniature version of this to help save space. You will see the next flippable template I currently do not have a picture for. But no fear, by the end of this summer, 2013, there will be a picture for each and every flippable in the flippable template pack. And again, this flippable has a full-size version as well as a mini version. I know that some of us are, con are very conservative when it comes to paper, and we have limited amount of copies, and that's why I provide multiple sizes. Each of the flippables has the cover page in between when it switches to a different version. This one allows you to put a title. And many of these are featured on my blog as well with other examples that simply just need to be added. This was the flippable template here that made it up to 52 recently. Okay, that's what the PDF looks like. All 91 pages of it with 52. When you open the PowerPoint version, it's the same, but it does not include the pictures. So on this flippable template, this is the four flap with cutout, I can simply go in, and you can see this is a JPEG version put on a PowerPoint screen. I can insert a text box and say I was teaching types of sentences that week. I can put in a text box that says imperative, and I can change my font. I'm pretty picky, and I use a lot of uh, Kimberly Guthwine fonts. I love my KG fonts. Let's make it a fun one. And I can go in here, and I can rotate my text boxes as needed, center mine. And there's my flap for an imperative sentence. Now I could go through and I could add the text boxes for an exclamatory sentence. Okay. And the great thing about this is I can adjust the sizes of my text boxes to where it'll fit all of my words. And then I can add the other types of sentences. And once I have finished this, I would go to File, Save as, and save this as a picture, either in JPEG or PNG format, and I would give it a name, Types of Sentences Flippable, and click Save. Once I've done that, you don't want to save every slide, because then that would save all 61 slides as this name. You would do the current slide only. Once that is saved as a JPEG, then you can simply open it up and print that page for your students. Just 
like that. Each of the flippables in here have the same uh, information on the back, giving directions, glue on the solid line, cuts on the dashed line, and that that side will not be seen, as well as my uh, copyright. I ask that you please do not remove my copyright. I hope that this helps you receive some tips and tricks on how to use my flippable templates in your classroom. When you are printing, I do want to tell you, when you go to file and print, you see how there's a dashed, a dashed line on the outside of this flippable. That is because I have set it to where it is full page and I've told it scale to fit to the paper. If you take that off, that outer edge goes away. And that makes it really hard for your students to be able to know where to stop cutting because the lines do not go all the way to the edge of the page. So I suggest you use that scale to fit paper. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. You can visit my blog at formulafun.com or visit my store at Teachers Pay Teachers and search Formula Fun. The links are also in the comment section, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Thank you.